Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a new Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. Um, the very first thing, um, when my son opened up the bags, I noticed that the lid came off of this um, Slumber Body Wash. Um, this is like a knockoff of um, Bath & Body Works. And I noticed that all of it leaked out, except very little. If you can see the bottom right there, it has like a okay, like light, very light, um, vanilla a uh, vanilla type of smell so i'm not crazy about the smell at all so i'm glad you know i'm not mad about it like i lost it the other one i like um which i'm going to show in a minute i really like the smell of that one but this one it has like a very light vanilla smell i'm not like i said i'm not too crazy about it this is like um not strong enough this is not like um the knockoff of um the aromatherapy line from bath and body works but it's okay. I like to use these as body washes, so that's why I picked this one up too. Because um, this one um, I haven't tried because I haven't seen this one. Um, this is called the um, um, the slumber one. So I guess this is the one to make you fall asleep. But you don't really smell lavender at all. It smells more like vanilla. And it's a very, very light smell. It doesn't smell like too strong. But like I said, it all leaked out. And that's all I had at the bottom. So I'm like... Whatever, I'm kind of pissed off about that, but it's okay. Nothing leaked on all my stuff, so. Then I picked up um, a four-pack of toilet paper again, nothing major. And then I picked up some more Purina. This is a puppy chow complete. And this ain't the dog chow. It's the same thing. It's just dog food, but I decided to get them a different um, flavor this time, so I got that one. And then I picked up three, three of these... Um, 140 little count of paper towels so I got those I got three packs of those so let me put all them here now this is the one that I like this is the one that really really smells good it's called the relax one and this one the cap did not come off but I don't know what happened like it just came off the, the packaging and I don't know maybe somebody opened it who knows but this one's sealed up. So this one's brand new. This is the Relax one. Now, this one has a really, really good fresh scent. I like this one. So this one's way better. And I'm glad this one didn't get ruined. That was kind of weird. So anyway, I picked up two bags right here of the Italian style meatballs. And these are like the flavored Italian meatballs. So I got two packs of those. So I got two packs of those. And then I picked up two of these, um, let me see, the Michelinas, um, the penne with the white chicken. So these are just little quick microwavable meals. So I got two of those. And then I picked up um, two boxes of these deluxe, wannabe deluxe. It's not like the craft kind or whatever, but they're still okay. You got to flavor it up a little bit more and put your own spin to it, but it's okay. It's not like, it's not bad, bad. It doesn't have, like, a really bad taste. So I picked up two boxes of these deluxe um, mac and cheeses. So I got those. And then I picked up um, this Thick Count 40 of the Simple Clean Fragrance Free Huggies. Huggies is the best baby wipes around. I like Huggies. So I got those. And then I picked up a package of Crispy Onions. And you can use crispy onions on anything, guys. Anything. Any kind of recipe. Anything. Salads. Whatever. I picked up two more of the Farmer John's maple sausages. I love these. You don't need no oil. No nothing. Once you start cooking it, all the, the liquid and the juices and everything comes out. And um, it's full of, full of, full of flavor. It doesn't have no weird taste at all. It's really, really good. So if you really love maple sausages, check them out. For eight links, not bad for a dollar. So I just picked up two of those for right now. Because I noticed that Dollar Tree that I went to was kind of empty. I also picked up um, this gigantic... Let's see. Yeah, this big gigantic can of um, enchilada sauce. This is the red one. So this is like a nice big, huge one. So I picked one of those up. Then I picked up this box right here of... Um, the Michelina's little pizza rolls. Got this from my son, so you can snack on those. And then I got some potato sticks. They look like that. And then 
also at Dollar Tree, I picked up a bag of of this Purina Kitten Caboodle. This is cat food. So I got this for my outdoor um, cat friends. Because I love cats. I also picked up this um, Golden's. Um, this is like a spicy um, brown mustard. This is name brand. It's really good. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked up one of these movies. And this is called um, Blood Vikings. And it's brand new, sealed up. Just make sure you check the seal because a lot of people steal movies. Um, this is the only one I've seen. Um, the rest were like copies of the other movies I already bought already. So I got that one. And then I picked up this um, white Virgin Mary candle, seven day candle. I love burning these in my house as a night light and, you know, whites for purity and protection, you know, blessing the home, things like that. I just like white candles. They're beautiful. And then I picked up four bottles, four bottles of Diet Pepsi. These are the little ones. So I got four bottles of those. Let's see if I can move this over because I have a few more items. Just a few more. Then I found this interesting book. It's called Homegrown, and oh my God, this is how you grow your, um, you know, your fruits and your vegetables and things like that. And I want to start getting into growing my own fruits and vegetables and growing fruit trees later on down the line, because I'm going to sell my house and try to find another house with more land, um, like a bigger area, so I could be able to grow my fruit trees and grow my fruits and vegetables especially with the economy, and it's better to have all that stuff so you don't have to keep buying it. And in this book, it's ex in this expensive book, it tells you how to prep, how to, like, what tools you need for that type of fruits and vegetables, all the things you have to get, and what you could do with them, how they grow, the temperatures, um, what kind of type of soil, because I'm not a green thumb at all. I have no idea how to grow anything. Every time I try to grow flowers or something, they die. Um, I'm going to have to learn how to do this. My grandmom used to do this a lot. And you can make your own syrups. And I think it has like canning in here, how to do honey. I don't mess with bees though. But you could do like tomatoes and beets and, you know, all types of fruits and vegetables. I saw like raspberries, blueberries. And it tells you how to make the jam in here. You get artichokes, Kale, spinach, carrots. Look, and it shows you how to do so, like making pumpkins, little quick recipes, little tiny ticks, um, tips and tricks, Brussels sprouts, leeks, onions, lettuce, sweet potatoes. It goes on and on. Lemons. And it shows you how to prune and can your things in case you're into those. I'm into prepping, but I never canned before. So this is like a really interesting book. Very, very interesting. Um, It cost... Um, like the real price of it. I don't know if it's zooming in or not. I think it says $15.99 or something like that. I can't see it with the flash. But um, it says Homegrown Illustrated Bites. And this was the only book, like I said, that I've seen. It looked very, very interesting. So I I was really excited to find this. I had to get this. Because I always wanted to learn how to grow different fruits and vegetables. Do my own garden. But I don't feel like Googling and researching. It's just too much hassle. So to have some kind, at least some kind of information... In here is a great idea. So I'm glad I found that. And then also at Dollar Tree, guys, I did find the Mexican Pine Saws. They also have the pink one. They, I, Like I said, I buy them in gallons. They have the gallon ones at Home Depot. But to find these, because they usually sell these at Dollar General. This is the Pinaline, but this is the Pine Saw, the green one that I absolutely love. This is like one of my favorite, favorite cleaners. That's mainly all I clean the house with is pine saw, like real pine saw, like the white cat pine saw, the original real one, or the one from ShopRite, or this one. I do not like the regular pine saw that you see in the stores, like lemon, and the other one, it has a very strong, weird smell, and it doesn't smell like pine saw at all, like real pine. This is the good stuff. This is from Mexico, and like I said, I buy them in the huge gallons with the handles, and they cost like 5 to $6 at Home Depot, which is a great deal. But to find them in these bottles for a buck, which they do have, they do have these in Dollar General. Um, I was glad to find them. I was going to buy more, but I didn't. I ended up buying four bottles of the Pinaline Pine Saw because I love cleaning my house with this. Now, 
If I can make my whole house smell like this all day long, 24-7, coming in, coming out, um, everything. I will have my whole house pine salt like that all the time. I love it. <clears throat> and then I picked up this, um, this is the pink Ajax. I used this before. This is the one that's like a neon pink. Um, let me see the scent. I used this in the past. Um, I forgot, but it's like a fruity, fresh, exhilarating. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's really, really good. So if you never tried this scent and you see it, pick it up. It's really good. And then I'm not sure about these. I think I tried them in the past. I'm not 100% sure. It's a brand called Brillo. Okay. And they have the dish soaps there at Dollar Tree. Um, and it's good for washing your dishes or hand washables, whatever you want to do with them. I'm not sure if they're like a jelly consistency. Um, cause some dish soaps are like that. They're like jelly, jelly consistency and they don't, some lather and smell good. They do the job quick and easy and some don't. So I figured I'll give these a try. This is the Brillo Basics. I bought the big lemon one. So that's a big lemon dish soap. And then I got the big green one, which is the apple scent. And then I picked up the orange one, which is um, the citrus scent, like orange citrus. And then the last one I picked up is the purple one, which is the lavender. So it's a large size, so hopefully they work. But if they really don't, they don't really do the job good or whatever like that, I'm going to use these for like hand washables or something like that. And you can also use these as dish soaps if you run out of laundry detergent and you need a little quick pinch. You know, you can use those. So anyway, that's it, guys. That's my Dollar Tree haul. Um, like I said in the beginning, this bottle right here, this body wash here, it did break off and leak. I don't know what happened with that, but it's okay. But I did get everything else, so. And everything else was okay. Nothing leaked in the bags or anything. So, and that was like in a separate bag, which was kind of weird. But anyway, thanks for watching this Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned for more videos. I will be doing more soon again, as always. Have a good day and stay blessed out there and be safe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.